you know. Here, take this. And just please, please don't hurt me. Hurry up, or I swear. Yeah, just take it. There are two types of trains in Red Dead 2, passenger trains and cargo trains. While both types can be robbed, only the passenger train will actually earn you any significant amount of income, usually in the $200 plus range. There are three ways to locate a passenger train in Red Dead 2. One, you buy a train ticket, which leaves you on a train after the cutscene. Two, you run along the train tracks until you locate a train. Three, you get lucky as one drives by. The first way doesn't really work. When you buy a train ticket, it leaves you in a town somewhere on a passenger train, but as soon as you start to rob people, the other passengers will attempt to flee, especially when you start getting shot at by law enforcement. The second way also doesn't really work. You can run along the tracks for hours and still not come across a train, though if you're really dedicated to finding one, this is the best way because you can stop the train in a secluded area where the passengers won't attempt to flee as quickly and law enforcement won't send as many men after you. The third way is the best way to rob a train. While out in the world doing other things, you may hear a train pass by. If you have the time, go over and check to see if it's a passenger train or a cargo train, then rob it as necessary. The best way to go about robbing a train is to get to the train engineer as quickly as possible. After taking control, try to stop the train in a preferable area, such as a secluded area, or even better yet, on a bridge where the law enforcement can't reach you. From there, you will make your way to the back of the train, killing security guards and robbing people as you go along. There's oftentimes a few extra dollars worth of items at the back in the cargo area. Your average train robbery will net you somewhere in the vicinity of $200.